Hey everyone. On Saturday morning, the world awoke to the news that North Korea had promised to give up its nuclear testing and its missile launches. And I guess Kim Jong-un woke up with an absolute stinker of a hangover and vaguely remembered making promises the previous night that he maybe regretted the morning after the night before. For him, I imagine that phoning up Donald Trump at midnight is his equivalent of phoning an ex-girlfriend ten minutes before the pub closes. Maybe I'm being disingenuous and this was all a result of weeks of diplomacy, you know, strategic use of Twitter, a grand combination of Chinese economic interventionalism, John Bolton bringing fresh ideas to the diplomatic table, some additional tweets of course from President Trump, some nudging from the Russians and some additional Twitter diplomacy with Fox and Friends of course being kept in the loop at all times. Or perhaps it's just that the North Koreans have finally figured out that uranium is pretty darn expensive and that they've had to choose between Kim's taste for nuclear weapons and his taste for, well, anything on a plate really. He's not fussy. You know, he prefers chocolate cake to uranium yellow cake. And I'd maybe make some joke about the type of rock, you know, the green leafy one that makes up a salad. Except Kim's more the sort of chap that orders a dozen fried crispy wontons for a starter. Though I suppose I'd do the same if I lived right next door to China. It's only when North Korea returns to the news though that you realise how lucky we have it in the West really. The UK government recently lost all the paperwork for the Windrush generation and as a result those people will likely receive compensation. In North Korea, of course, the government is somewhat more strict about people having the correct documentation and their definition of a Labour camp makes the UK Labour Party summer camp discussing Brexit policy look quite appealing in comparison, really. Yeah, I don't know, ten years in a frozen tundra versus ten days listening to Emily Thornberry devising a coherent foreign policy? I don't know what I want, really. You know, I do prefer Kim's fondness for fried chicken compared to Jeremy Corbyn's veganism, though. Anyway, see you next week. If you like to click subscribe.